In movies, naughty scenes have been used to attract people into the theaters, keep them inside and hopefully get them to forget that whatever thing they have seen is fake so they can buy the merchandise that is tied into the movie and even get it on Blu-ray or stream it online for a pretty penny and hopefully make more and more money off your sustained arousal at seeing make-believe hanky-panky between people who are clearly faking it for a quick paycheck. Mostly, people feel that performers and on-screen characters getting mischievous on screen would likely be phony as they're not actually indicated having real intimate moments on camera, but rather there are a few on-screen characters who do get engaged with genuine intimacy in front of camera. But what if we told you that there were some famous actresses who really did it on screen? Some of the A-list actresses actually doing it on screen, but those have not been verified. So what this list is going to focus on is the actual confirmed cases of naughty acts happening on screen or in the movie. So let's dig into the 10 actual cases of actresses doing it on the big screen. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 10. Chloe Sevigny, Vincent Gallo, The Brown Bunny Chloe Sevigny is one of the coolest girls in the film industry, and according to the New Yorker magazine, she has performed a lot of really cool stuff in her 20-plus year career as an actress, fashion designer, and a model. One of the most fascinating and famous scenes in the 2003 movie The Brown Bunny, in which her character, known only as Daisy, performed an actual fellatio on her counterpart in the movie Vincent Gallo. This actually caused a lot of backlash, and even some of the critics believed that her career would never recover from that. But she never stopped to be the coolest girl in the world, and it didn't destroy her career. Even the legendary Robert Evert said that despite all her eccentricities, she's unforgettable and her character was amazing in the movie. Number 9. Anna Paquin, Stephen Moyer, True Blood Anna Paquin is a Canadian-born New Zealand actress, and his co-star Stephen Moyer is an English actor and director. If you've seen all those hot sex scenes from True Blood, you will definitely agree that the two stars went beyond the script right in front of the cameras. Interestingly, Anna also admitted to having been intimate with other members of the cast and to have felt entirely comfortable walking around the set naked. Nevertheless, after wrapping the show, Paquin and Moyer ended up taking their on-screen chemistry to the next level. And since Anna and Stephen were a couple in real life. Number 8. Margot Stilly, Kieran O'Brien, Nine Songs Margot Stilly is an American and most struggling actress who was amazingly independent. Having left her home at the age of 16 and putting herself through high school on her own and by working as a telemarketer and a lifeguard. On the other side, Kieran O'Brien was educated at a Roman Catholic school as a child, and you know he would end up growing up to not adhere to anything he was taught as a child. In the 2004 movie Nine Songs, the naughty scenes that they both had was for real. Unlike other actors and actresses who were often in denial about what they did, these two had absolutely no problem in admitting that they did it on screen. Of course, it did end up generating controversy. But you know what they reply, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Number 7. Shia LaBeouf, Stacey Martin, Nymphomania Shia LaBeouf, an actor who has been heavily mocked due to his political activities and attempts at motivational videos. Either way, his iconic Just Do It video has clearly meant something else. In the movie Nymphomania, Stacey Martin and Shia LaBeouf apparently looked at this script, which was supposed to be loaded with CGI fake vaginas and body doubles but was deemed too complicated to pull off and decided to just do it, as Shia LaBeouf frequently likes to shout. Of course, Stacey did say that it might not have happened, but that could have been a way to get out all of the jokes she would have to endure, like the ones you just read right now. 6. Kristen DeBell, Alan Novak, Alice in Wonderland Kristen DeBell was a Playboy cover girl, and Alan Novak was actually a porn actor who was famous for playing Flesh Gordon. The 1976 movie Alice in Wonderland was an R-rated take, and that was not supposed to be a hardcore porn film. The sex in it was real, and the oral sex in the film that she was supposed to perform on Alan Novak went above and beyond what was expected. The movie itself was super hit at that time, and legendary Robert Ebert giving it a favorable review. It was also a financial blockbuster, with a mere $400,000 and raking in $90 million at the box office. Number 5. Fianella Flanagan, Chris O'Neill, James Joyce Women Fianella Flanagan is an Irish actress who appeared in both Star Trek spin-offs and Star Wars spin-offs, The Ewok Adventure, and Chris O'Neill was originally a comedy actor whose main roles came after this film. The 1985 film, James Joyce's Women, was a story of lovebirds in 19th century Ireland where they end up with that some rather scandalous looking scenes and the sex they had in the film. Yeah, the ultimate scandalousness of the 19th century 
premarital sex happened on screen in real. Number 4. Halle Berry, Billy Bob Thornton, Monster Ball The 2001 film Monster Ball was a film featuring the riveting romance between a widowed corrections officer and the widowed wife of a man that he had to execute as a part of his job. All of this without any of them knowing about it. Yeah, it's that kind of awkward movie. And it had equally awkward naughty scenes in it too. And rather unrestrained naughty scenes at that. But a lot of people really believe that the scenes were actually real. And while no one has stepped forward to admit it, no one has denied it either. On top of that, there's even more speculation that the entire cast and everyone on set at that time had to make an agreement to never talk about what was really happening. If that isn't some major league tabloid material, I don't know what is. Number 3. Lauren Lee Smith, Eric Balfour, Lie With Me Lauren Lee Smith is a Canadian actress who's very famous for her unique role in CSI. Eric Balfour is an American actor who was famous for a slew of movies such as What Women Want and the 2003 version of the Texas Chain Massacre, as well as TV shows like HBO Six Feet Under. Both of them were involved in a lot of on-screen fake naughty scenes, but the audiences were surprised by watching the movie Lie With Me when the hanky-panky seemed a little too real for movie magic to be involved. In fact, it was real on camera. Unlike Monsters Ball, everyone on set openly admitted that it happened for real this time and was not some attempt to gain publicity. Number 2. Anita Pallenberg, Mick Jagger, Performance Anita Pallenberg was an Italian actress, artist, and model and was famous as It Girl of the 1960s and 1970s. Mick Jagger needs no introduction. For those who do need him introduced, he's a major league rock star, having been the founder of the Rolling Stones and was a major sex icon. Well, he sort of still is. Anyway, both of them were also involved in a lot of bizarre stuff in their career. But nothing could have been more interesting than the 1968 movie performance, where not only did they actually have a naughty time with one another, but it was also an act of infidelity on screen since she was Keith Richards' girlfriend at the time. It was also a rather tragic story since she was actually pregnant in 1968 at the time, but she had to have an abortion in order to get the same role in the film, something which she never forgot or forgave. Number 1. Carrie Fox, Mark Rylance, Intimacy Carrie Fox is an actress from New Zealand who was famous for her role as Janet Frame in the movie 1990 movie An Angel at My Table. Sir David Mark Rylance Waters is an English actor who has more credentials than the stealth bomber has buns. Together, they performed in the 2001 film Intimacy and that was based on the novel of the same name. And as you would expect from this, the intimacy that they showed on screen was quite real, as was the oral sex that was performed by Fox and Rylance. It seems that no matter how much movies advance in fake CGI and movie magic, when it comes to sex, that's the one thing that no simulation will ever fully capture. That is all about the top 10 actresses who actually did it on screen. If you did like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to get some latest and interesting videos.